Welcome students to this week's Spelling Netcast. Please make sure that you are prepared with um, the necessary items. Ziploc bag to put your word chips in, glue stick to glue your heading down to your, your paper, pencil to write with, scissors to cut with, your booklet to write in, and of course your spelling words for this week. And as you can see, we have our focus for this week. All right, go ahead and take your words and your scissors and begin cutting out your word chips. All right, you should have had time to cut everything out and you're ready to rock and roll. Let's get this done, huh? Let's have some fun. Let's find out what this is all about. Let's go ahead and start by taking your heading, running a bead of glue across it. Let's place it at the top so we know what we're doing. What our focus is with this, with our lesson. All right, looks like we're dealing with um, suffix ity, and we're dealing with the schwa today. All right, let's go ahead and start with this schwa sound, and it's going to be represented by this little puppy here. Now, it looks like it is upside down and backwards, and one letter is, but that's what represents or what makes it the, the schwa sound. So, and there's a old sound in there as well. All right, okay, and this is our schwa, and in the schwa sound, the words that have the schwa sound in it, they are going to be adjectives, so we'll write ADJ, down for adjective, and then our other exemplar is the ITY, okay, and the words that um, have ITY in them, it's basically be, it'll be the same word that has the schwa sound, but we're just going to add ity at the end. And these words are going to form nouns. So let's write nouns down here. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and have some fun. Let's go ahead and start with um, our first word. Let's go ahead and it's going to be personal. Where did it go? I'm not sure where it flew off to, but we'll just write it. All right. So, personal, all right, now, in personal, the P-E-R, that part of it is going to be the accented part, which means that there's a little more emphasis on that part of the, the word, that syllable is going to be accented. Again, a little more stress is going to put on, on that first part of the word. And then... This last sound back here is going to be where the schwa is located, so I'm just going to put a little S there. And that's going to let us know that that is the, the schwa sound. All right, it's going to make a little different sound than personality. Again, we're going to take our main word here, and we're going to add ity the end, dot or I, and we do that, it's going to be converted from an adjective to a noun. All right. Now, personal, be like, like a personal trainer, someone that helps you to become a better athlete or whatever, right? And so, personal would be the adjective that describes trainer. Um, but when we add the ITY at the end, then it becomes a noun. Personality, that is a noun. All right, well, let's kind of break this down here. Now, before, the, uh, the accented part was at the beginning, but when we add ity to it, the, our um, accented part is going to be right here in this area. Okay, and looks like that we're going to have a short sound. Let's go ahead and say personality. Person ow. Oh, wow. This that was the schwa and made a distinct sound is going to change and it's going to become a short sound. Person ow. Ow. Person o. Personality. 
You kind of, as you say it, you'll be able to tell the difference. This makes the, the schwa sound, and this is clearly the short vowel sound. Interesting how that happens when we add ity to the end. All right, so again, personality, we can move that off the side. Let's go ahead and do one more. Here we have mobile. Mobile means portable, right? You can transport it from place to place. And here we have our little schwa. I'll put it down below this time. All right. And this is our accented part. Okay, and again, mobile means to be easily transported from place to place, like a mobile cell phone. Okay, let's move that out to the side. Let's take and see what happens when we add ITY. I chose this one because back up here with personal and personality, we just added ITY to the end. But this one, we're not going to leave the E. We're going to drop the E and then add ITY. Okay, and again, our accent's going to kind of focus more towards the middle, and this becomes a short vowel sound, where this was kind of the schwa sound, and now this becomes a short vowel sound. Schwa sound, short vowel sound. Schwa sound, short vowel sound. Adjective, noun. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can't pick out where the sound changes. Mobile, mobile, mobility, mobility, I, I, I. Here we have the short vowel sound. Mobility, schwa, short. Interesting, pretty cool. All right, guys. It is time for you to get to work. Again, this column we're dealing with um, the base word, the main word, and again it has the schwa sound to it. And then when you add ity, it uh, becomes a noun, and the vowel sound changes to the short vowel sound, as in personality and mobility. Kind of cool. All right, we've done this one so we can get it out of the way. All right, guys, continue. Good luck. Be prepared. Well, that wraps it up, students. Please make sure that you're prepared. These, um, this assignment is due on Thursday. Be prepared so you can um, join in the fun. And uh, again, purpose of doing these um, spelling net casts is to not only make us better spellers, but better readers and writers as well. Time to sign off. Please get her done. Be prepared and see you.